Hello, my name is Dr. Jonathan Oates, archivist for the London Borough of Ealing, and this is the first in two local history videos about Inspector Morse and Ealing. We are now standing outside number 28 Castle Bar Park Road in North Ealing, and this was used in several episodes for the Inspector Morse series. The Inspector Morse series was a British TV series from 1987 to 2000, which starred John Faw as Inspector Endeavour Morse and Kevin Waitley as Detective Sergeant um, Lewis. It ran for 33 episodes and we will be talking about the house, its history and its use in the Inspector Morse TV series. Number 28 Castle Bar Park Road better known as the Inspector Morse House, was actually built in 1894. It was first known as St Cuthbert's and the first owner was a man called Frederick William Plant Martin who was a hotelier born in London and he lived in this house with his wife Rosa from 1895 to 1899. It has 16 rooms and it was a single occupied house. In about 1900, the house was briefly the home of a retired Indian civil servant and his wife and family. But in 1902, it was lived in by Enos Young. Enos Young and his family lived in the house for another 12 years. All the time, the house was still the property of Mr of Mr Martin's widow Rosa. In, 19, in, in 1918 the house changed hands again and in 1920 the house was, was known as 28 Castle Bar Park Road, its current name. It was then subdivided into two flats and in one of the flats a retired soldier Colonel Frederick Hardy lived in the house of the flat. In the 1930s it was subdivided into three flats and again one of the occupants was, was a retired soldier. During World War II the house was requisitioned for, for, the, for the council to use to house homeless people made homeless during the Blitz. After World War II the house acquired a number of garages in 1956. It was further subdivided into flats in the 1960s and in 1976 it was divided into seven flats in total. In the year 2000, after Inspector Morse filming had finished, there was a question as to whether the house and its next door neighbour would be demolished in order that flats be built on the site but a, a petition from local people persuaded the council that this would destroy the locality's Victorian heritage. Several years later, the flat here were empty. They were occupied by squatters for some time and the house became very dilapidated. There was the danger again that the house might be demolished, but fortunately it was, it was, it was cleared up and refurbished and is now a pleasant um, residence for a number of flat dwellers as well as being a site of pilgrimage for Inspector Morse fans. The next part of this video will be given by Lindsay Civita, an Inspector Morse expert and consultant. Thank you. So I feel very lucky as a Morse fan to come here again today, um, here in Ealing, to what was Morse's flat, of course. It had been shown in many episodes, including um, The Silent World of Nicholas Quinn, in Fat Chance, the actress Zoe Wanamaker had sort of a, a nice evening dinner with Morse on his veranda, which is just to the right over there, and now a separate flat. Um, probably the most iconic episode where this house was actually used was Masonic Mysteries. And if you remember, if you've seen that episode, that is where the horrible Hugo de Vries actually sets a light to this very building and to Morse's flat. And Morse has to be rescued rescued uh, from this flat and ends up in hospital. So here's just a couple of pictures of what the flat looked like 
oh, 20 odd years ago. Lovely green colouring. It's all changed now, of course, lots of different flats and that. One lady owned the whole property from sort of 1987 to 2000. Uh, but over the years, as being a member of the Morse Society, we've, we've turned up here on occasions uh, and uh, lots of us have, have viewed from afar this lovely building. And it's great that it was saved. It's great that they actually have turned it into lovely flats again. And so Morse fans can still feel the ambience of what it was like at the time. So thank you.